Now, some perspective now from our reporter, Michael Marilia, who's tracking these numbers for us. Michael, good afternoon. I mean, of course, we've heard from the Transport Minister, Figi Mbalula, saying, you know, they're trying to introduce hygiene within taxis, trains, buses, but one has to wonder, is this enough? Yeah, absolutely, Tamilo. It would seem like we've reached a crossroad as a country because public transport is a crucial part of our economy. It's something that millions use on a daily basis, uh, and it does seem very difficult to police. So let's take a quick look at some of the numbers, Tamilo. We've uh, looked at the general household survey from Stats SA. It's a survey that's conducted on a yearly basis, pretty reliable. This basically looks at whether... Households have used public transport in the week before the survey. And the numbers are quite fascinating. 37% of the households saying they've used a taxi to Melo. Uh, in terms of buses, about 6% saying that they had actually used public transport in the form of a, a bus. And around about 3 to 4% saying that they had used a public train in the past week. Now, what's important to note here, Tumelo, is uh, those numbers might not sound that significant, but remember there are 16 million households in South Africa. So when we talk about 37% of those households using taxis, we're talking about 5 to 6 million households. That is a lot of households, Tumelo, and of course households have more than just one person. They all intermingle. Uh, so potentially a lot of people uh, interacting with one another on a daily basis. Now let's focus quickly on uh, transport to work because a lot of South Africans will use public transport to actually get to their places of work. Again, these numbers coming from Stats SA, really, really interesting. About 34% using a private vehicle, 20% or one-fifth actually walking to work. But then when you look at the other numbers, you get a sense, again, of the millions of people that actually use public transport just to earn a living. So, for example, Tumelo, uh, almost one quarter of South Africans using a taxi, 5% uh, using a bus, 2% using a train, another 2% using a lift club. And again, just to emphasize, a lift club means interacting with people, not a lot of opportunity to distance yourself from a person when you're sharing a car with them. So it seems when we're going to work, social distancing is a problem. Jamila? With that said, I mean, schools are set to close. Uh, tomorrow, many children will be away, but after a few weeks, they'll have to come back yeah. and use the very same public transport. Absolutely. So let's take a look at the numbers when it actually comes to school transport. This is really interesting, and it also raises a few questions about the safety of our children. I mean, take a look at that, Samelo. 65% of South Africa's children actually walking to school. That in itself is a problem. But let's take a look at the numbers in terms of uh, vehicles, private vehicle, uh, so probably their parents taking them to school, 9%. Uh, and then when we look at the public transport options, taxis, 7% a group vehicle hired by their parents. So that's typically when a group of parents will get together uh, and get someone to drive their children to school. That's about 12%. Uh, the number of, uh, of pupils using buses, 4%. And a sponsored taxi or bus, so that's typically a bus sponsored uh, by the provincial education department, for example, or maybe an NGO, around about 3%. So you add all of those together in terms of public transport, and it's about 24 to 25% of pupils actually using public transport options to get to school. Remember, we have 13 million pupils in this country. So that's about 3 to 4 million young people who are using public transport and are, of course, exposed potentially to an infection. So certainly... Uh, it's a difficult one for the transport department because our economy and our society really is built around public transport. Tamina. Absolutely, and it's one of those things where, of course, they have to consider these numbers just to try and see how they can find you know, solutions moving forward. But thank you so much.